with Call of Duty Black Ops, we wanted to take players to an entirely new place and give them entirely new gameplay experience. It's something they hadn't done yet with Call of Duty. And uh, the era um, was perfect for that. And, and, and as we were doing our research and learning about these secret wars and these deniable operations and all this covert warfare that was going on underneath the layer of what, of what uh, people um, were seeing, um, they thought there was, you know, it's this Cold War and Vietnam War and all this. But meanwhile, there's these black operations that are that are that are going on between the two superpowers. And and as we learned about those, we learned about the black operations and the kinds of soldiers and the elite forces that were that were conducting these operations. It was um, it just inspired all kinds of creativity and let us go and do things that Call of Duty had hadn't done yet. Our game is not a game about the Vietnam War. It takes place uh, during an era that also includes the Vietnam War. And of course, there were black operations that occurred, um, operations that people didn't know about uh, during that era. And we'll be tackling that part of it. And it isn't the war itself. Um, I would say that Call of Duty Black Ops takes the gloves off. Um, Treyarch hasn't been afraid to do that in the past. And uh, you should expect no different from Call of Duty Black Ops. We wanted to actually work with some people who conducted these black operations. So we worked with Major John Plaster, who uh, is is one of the one of the you know most published uh, authors. But he he himself was SOG was was a um, studies and observations group. That's what they were called, kind of an innocuous title um, for for this group. And and um, is you know had extensive experiences during the in Southeast Asia and during the Vietnam War. Um, conducting these black operations and so he came to our studio and shared his experiences with us everything from his training to the tactics and strategies that they used to um, you know to, to some to some intimate experiences that they had and it was it definitely stimulated the thought of our designers and our creatives in the studio to come up with um, with some of the gameplay that we did um, we also talked to the other side we talked to uh, Russian Soviet Spesnots uh, during that era, and this is, you know, this is not the Russia of today. It is the Soviet Union, the formidable power that it was. So, um, and 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 he was a, a inspiring individual to say the least, as he talked about his training and what they would do. One of the things, as I mentioned, with Call of Duty Black Ops that we wanted to do was come up with all kinds of new, fresh uh, gameplay. Um, the idea to use alternative forms of ammo actually came from talking with some of these veterans and and the and they actually talked about packing their own ammo for the purposes that they wanted or that they needed um, the bow and arrow uh, was at, or the crossbow was actually inspired by a couple of things one is we were doing some research and we learned that some of the indigenous people that worked with in Vietnam that worked with some of the special forces there did actually use bow and arrow uh, during their missions it's a great stealth weapon and if you're effective with it obviously incredibly lethal and you can go undetected um, so we learned we learned about that, and then we also uh, heard from uh, Major John Plaster that there was uh, a member of SOG who would always choose a bow and arrow as he was going out on his on his missions. Now, in the mission that we have it actually featured in, uh, you're behind enemy lines inside the Soviet Union, and it just seemed like the perfect device to be able as it was you know it's during comes up during a stealth sequence. And we don't want the player to get detected, and it seemed like the perfect way that you might want to modify your weaponry to place uh, a really explosive incendiary device uh, at range without being detected. And uh, the other weapon is the uh, Dragon's Breath uh, shotgun shell. Well, as far as we're concerned, we're creating a black ops game. So we did research on all different times of, uh, types of alternate forms of ammo. So when we're looking at it, much like the, you know, inspired by, by these black ops soldiers, we look at a, at a mission and we're like, well, what, would, what, what should our loadout be? And, and what, whatever was in our arsenal was what we chose. And who's to say that they didn't? Everything they did was classified. <laughs>